Kevin. Such as that nephew of yours is going to be worth a damn. I'll set them straight. This ain't no born social, you understand? I spoke up for you, Sonny. You best do right by me. Nobody has to get killed. Sloan, aren't you? How would a grandkid like you be knowing something like that? I'm all about you. Look, I got it in here somewhere. <laughs> Little dime novels, huh? Call it with a heart right here. <laughs> well, take it from one who's been there, boy. They don't always get it right. Even so, I'd be much obliged if you mark my copy. Hey, boys. Well, what Damn. brings you to town today? The flu boys out there. Come on! 
Where's the rest of them? Yeah. went down. Waco, too. I didn't see nobody else. All right, listen up. We got a hard road ahead of us, and some of you ain't gonna make it. I can ride, like Jack. You ain't got to worry, no. Any man who can keep up with me, I'll see you in Chihuahua. The rest of you, I'll see you in hell. What about Badger? What about him? He's sure real bad. He's gonna need to rest. Well, why don't we make camp so he can have a nice long nap? He's your brother. I think I give a damn. We got a posse of men behind us riding fresh horses just itching to hang us off. I'm all right, kid. Time's a waste of black guy. I can give up! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Badger's down! I reckon it's over for me now. Dear soul, Badger. Do me a last kindness, Jack, and end it. I can't spare the bullet. Mm. Okay, Kevin. Will you? We got a ride, Badger. I was gonna leave him here like this? 
What do you suggest, boy? Well, at least wait until... Until what? Until that posse rides up? Yeah, you want to read him a prayer? Go ahead. So long, Badger. So long, Blackjack. Go with him. It's the same, right? Not much in life is. It, it sure hell ain't like them dying novels you got in your saddlebag, is it? There, there's a way out of this. If you act quick. Shot nobody before. Maybe you're worth a damn after all. I don't want to go home. It's a little too late for that. Come on now. Get out. Come on, you hear me? Yeah.
He sure as hell ain't Mexico. Wind's must got us turned around. Let's move it. Let's go somewhere. Anywhere is better than where we've been. All right. We're heading out. I just keep a sharp eye. Well, it looks like we got us a town up ahead. So ride in nice and easy. And be ready for anything. I think I'm going to like it, Jan. Keep in mind on business. Here comes the law. Welcome to Refuge, strangers. Thank you, sir. You look like you've seen some trouble. Ain't that a fact. We're drovers. We was moving a herd up from Chihuahua when Patches attacked us. They stole the herd. They uh, killed some of us, they wounded others, and they drove us in here. Problem is, we wasn't due to get paid till we delivered the herd to Sweetwater, so we're a little short on money, too. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. You find refuge is a charitable, friendly little town. You can stable your horses. Your men can have free drinks in the saloon, a bed and table in the hotel. That's mighty neighborly of you, Sheriff. Ain't it, boys? You're welcome to stay just as long as it takes you to heal up your wounded and get back on your feet. I'm much obliged. Sheriff, can you tell me where the telegraph office is? I'll need to contact the owner of the herd. Well, we're a little off the beaten track here for that. There's no telegraph office, no newspapers. In fact, aside from the occasional strangers such as yourselves, we don't have much contact with the outside world. Matter of fact. Deputy Glenn? You show these gents where they can put up their horses? Doc Woods will be happy to treat you wounded. Uh, Rose, you show them to the doc's office, please? Imagine the rest of you boys will build up a mighty thirst. Saloon's right over there. All right, boys, let's an assy saddle. Oh, there is just one thing. What's that? I would appreciate it while you're in refuge that you don't curse. <laughs> Except for the saloon, of course. Of course. Thank you. This way, Junior. Well, lads, what'll be a pleasure? Bottle of whiskey. Who are these people anyway? And what the hell are they doing out in the middle of nowhere? Maybe they's Mennonites. Heard they had colonies scattered all over the place. Follow me, please. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, beautiful little town you got here. Yes, it is beautiful. Now, how long is it that you have lived here? Five years, one week, and two days. Oh, that's amazing how you 
How you just know that, like, exactly to the day? Well, I, I know it's silly, but I tend to keep track of things like that. It appears I'm back in business. Hello, Doc. Step inside, gentlemen. I swear I recognize that sheriff from somewhere. Just can't place him. Lucky he didn't place you. Yeah, you noticed he wasn't packing. Yeah, neither was the deputy. No, I didn't see a gun in the whole damn town. Keep thinking what I'm thinking. All right, you're next, son. I think it's just a flesh wound. I'll tell you what it is. Well, you're lucky. I don't feel lucky. You just lost a few inches of baby fat. What are you looking at? Have you ever been in Wichita? Why? Is that where you're from? Yeah, from just outside of there. I always got a little farm. Why, you been there? I was there once. It was long before you were born. Ah! How many men have you killed? Why would you ask me a question like that? Your ramrod said you drove us, right? Try. And that your cattle was stolen by the Indians. That's what he said. Did they steal your ropes, too? Ropes? Yeah, I see your horses, and I only see two or three ropes. No branding arms. Aren't cowboys supposed to have a lot of ropes? Well, you sure do ask a lot of questions yourself. Well, I guess you want to be joining your friends now. I only killed one man. He, uh... He begged me to do it. Five. Forty-four, forty. Forty-five. And... Forty-five. Not many Indian Jews are forty-five. Well, we knew they wasn't drovers. So what are we going to do about it? We're going to walk softly, give them plenty of room. Maybe they'll leave peacefully. And maybe they'll drop us a little uh, thank you note on the way out of town. Don't work that way, Sheriff. You should have told them to keep on riding. This job's yours if you want it, Glenn. I'd just soon go off and sit under a big tree. Believe me, I'd rather. No, Forrest, nobody would blame you for it either. But look, the last man we want handling this thing is Glenn. Why, he'd shoot the eyes out of a dove for singing too early in the day. No, Brooks is right. If we got a hope of getting out of this jackpot, I'm pinning it on Forrest. That bunch, just right out. We got about as much chance of that as a one-legged man at a rat stone. We got any other choice? You sorry moments. But all in all, I'd say you did a family. Real proud of you. Deb? Yeah. You're quitting yourself real good for a green farm boy. Next time I ride Esther, I'm gonna tell her something. Excuse me. You're the doc, right? And you are? Smith. Jack Smith. I just want to thank you for uh, patching up my boys. Think nothing of it. Well, come on in. Let me send you to a drink. That's mighty tempting, but I don't drink anymore. Well, that's a shame. Nice to meet you, Mr. Smith. You know, it's a damnedest thing, but. I swear I've seen that man somewhere before. <laughs> He's in Wichita once. Excuse me. 
me, Mr. Smith. I have to go for an hour, so please tell your men to help themselves to whatever they'd like. Yeah, you see, I told you, the whole damn town is full of Bible thumpers. It's right, boss. Nothing but a bunch of damn cheek turners. It's going to be real easy. What's going to be easy? It's none of your damn business. How's the leg? Uh, it hurts. Bullets tend to do that. Uh-huh. Evening, miss. May I have a minute? What do you want? I said, uh, the man I shot, he was dying in the desert, and uh, he begged everyone to shoot him, but no one would. I mean, they were going to leave him to the buzzards. Why are you telling me this? Because I don't want you to misjudge me. Why should you care what I think of you? Because I like you. What's your name? Leon? Miller? Most everyone just calls me Sonny. What's your name? Rose. Rose, huh? It's my pretty name. Uh, Rose what? It's just Rose. Well, so, uh, I reckon it, uh, it fits pretty good. <laughs> you know, your grammar is terrible. You know how to read? Yeah, man, I read all the time. Back to. Dime novel. Yes, dime novels. <laughs> hey, Sonny! Why don't you bring her over for a drink? This is the damnedest of the world ever saw. It's my uncle. He gets kind of mean when he's drunk. Where the hell are all the women? I'm getting real lonely. Did you hear what I said, boy? Mean when he ain't, too. Look at you, <laughs> hugging all the whores. She ain't a whore, Uncle Guthrie. I don't care if she's a nun. They're all whores. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't be walking around with boys when there's real men in town. So how about me and you crack some calico? No, please. What's the matter, Sheriff? You know what this is, don't you? Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm obliged for that, son. You gonna put him in jail? We don't have a jail. You mean every town's got a jail? Well, this one doesn't. Why is everyone just standing here? Why didn't you draw your gun? You best get him to bed. Good night, Sonny. Y'all go to bed!
What the hell happened here? I didn't see. I think, uh, I think he fell. More likely somebody fell him. Day, Glenn. Yep. Beautiful morning, Brooks. Indeed, Brother Lamb. Morning. Morning, Sonny. Hi. Morning, Sheriff. Mr. Smith up and about? I ain't seen him yet. I'd like to speak to him when you see him. I'll make sure to tell him. Hey, sir. How long is it that you've been sheriff of this town? Oh, a better part of 10 years. Why? Nothing. You know, you don't seem as seasoned as the rest. How'd you fall in with this bunch, anyhow? Uh, I begged my uncle to come along with him. On the cattle drive? Bet by now you wish you hadn't, huh? Yes, sir. I feel like I was set by a coyote and crapped off a cliff. Hey, Johnny! Did you see which one of them Bible thumpers bushwhacked me? No, sir. Kevin, I want you to take your nephew and uh, check a general store. We're gonna need ammo. Probably don't have any. Check anyway. What'll I use for money? Your imagination. Sir? What? Sheriff said he wanted to see you. You say what about? No, sir. All right. We got company. Morning. The boy said you wanted to see me. Care for a cup of java? Be obliged. So how do you like our little town, Mr. Smith? It'll do. So uh, what's this all about? One of your men got out of line last night. Used foul language toward one of our women. That'd be Kevin. Yes, I believe it was. I wish you'd speak to him. I'll do that, Sheriff, but... Uh... Captain seems to have a grievance of his own. Seems that one of your citizens hit him over the head. Well, I doubt if it was one of my people. You calling him a liar? No. I only said I didn't see one of my people do it. Now, he was blind drunk. Maybe he passed out and just didn't want to own up to it. Yeah. Maybe so. So you will talk to him? Look, he gives you no more trouble. Why don't you just throw him in jail? That is, if you got the sand. I had hoped it wouldn't come to that, Mr. Smith. We have extended our hospitality. You're damn right we have. That's enough, man. The least we can expect in return is for you to control your men. I can promise you one thing, Sheriff. My men will do exactly what I tell them to. That's all I'm asking. Everything else all right? The hotel? Your wounded be intended to? No, everything's fine. Mind if I ask you a question? Not at all. In all my years on the frontier, I never run across a sheriff who wasn't armed. How come you ain't packing? Well, we never found the need in refuge. What, there are no guns in this whole town? 
We have our own ways here, Mr. Smith. Damn right. Thanks for the coffee. Pleasure. You are walking a thin line. That man all but slapped you in the face with a glove, Sheriff. That's not what I'm talking about. You said damn twice. Morning, gents. What can I do for you? Always just go ahead. Please. Look. Right. Sure got a lot of stuff here for uh, being so far from anywhere. Yeah, so I have the latest of everything. Uh, you got any dime novels? No, I'm sorry, but uh, we do carry all the classics. You might want to check out the classics, son. You get a whole lot more out of them than you would those dime novels. You know, I never had much use for reading myself before I came here. Now I find that I've... What's the matter, son? Do I have a smudge of flour on my face? No, I'm sorry. You know, I never say that you, uh... kind of look like Jesse James. Well, now that you mention it, a man in Tulsa once said that to me. Why, did you... Did you know Jesse? Oh, well, no, but, uh... I read quite a bit about him and uh, saw some likenesses. Although, uh, I think he was a little bit taller than you are. Yeah. That's what the man in Tulsa said, too. Nice shop you got. Thank you. Thank you. I'm rather proud of it. Like I said, we just look. Thank you, sir. Don't be so, boys. This town's easy picking. Hey, if you didn't get away, it's clean as you thought. So what? I don't see no bold moves being made our way. I don't think they got an ounce of bold between a bunch of them. I'm sick and tired of acting polite. Tell the boys they can start to have their way with this town. <laughs> Get our people off the street. Your men seem to have a lot of time on their hands. Yeah? What of it? If they'd like to split some wood, stay busy. Sort of earn their keep. Earn their keep? Yeah, it seems like a reasonable suggestion. Well, where's the pile? I'll split some wood. Heck, it's at least. You chop nothing, boy. Anything else, Sheriff? Yes, I'd appreciate you ask your men to slow down these horses and stop throwing knives at our church. Why don't you tell them? I doubt they'd listen to me. Then you got yourself a problem, Sheriff. Yes, it appears I do. You miserable little bastard out of pistol work, you know. You listen. Get us some whiskey. Oh, you owe me another five. There's barn. Out at the edge of town. Maybe you could take your knife throwing out there. Nah, that's too far to walk. Well, then what if I set a plank up for you in the middle of the street? You're doing just fine right here. I am asking you nicely to stop throwing knives at our church. <laughs> now, 
I'm asking you to stop. This ought to be interesting. Five bucks says you can't put it right in the windpipe. Nothing to be afraid of. Come inside. All right, folks. Forrest, I got a message for you. It's time you pack your grip, son. Come noon Sunday, you're going home.
Well, I see you got a saloon. Yep, but you can't go in there. One step through those doors and it's all over. Seems like a lot of damn rules. Yep, no cursing either. You came in last night on a stagecoach, right? Sonny, this is no concern of yours. I want to know how she can be standing here alive and breathing when I saw her dead in Sweetwater. Maybe you were thinking of someone else. No, she died in my arms. First person I ever saw got killed. I ain't likely to be mistaken about something like that. Do you deny it? You're Dolly Sloan, harlot with a heart. Dolly Sloan? Oh, you mean the lady gambler. Yeah. I've been told I look a lot like her. Sorry, young man, but my name is, uh... Ivy. I know what I saw. What about that stage that disappeared into thin air last night? How y'all gonna explain that? Please, just let it be. I can't. You have to, Sonny. Now, if you'll excuse us, we're showing Ivy the town. Pretty dangerous game you're playing there, son. You gonna deny your Doc Holiday? A man sneaks up on you and calls you out. You're gonna react. I don't care if they call you Mary Queen of Scots. Don't think I don't know what's going on here. Suppose you tell me. Well, somehow, I don't have that whole thing figured out, but y'all ain't dead the way people think. This town here's some sort of hole in the wall for famous outlaws looking to retire. You don't say. You're damn right I do. See, Forrest, he's, uh, he's Wild Bill Hickok. And uh, that deputy of his looks just like uh, Billy the Kid. How about the guy who owns a general store right over there? Brooks? Yeah, Brooks, if he ain't Jesse James, I'll eat my hat. Except I saw Jesse was taller. And then there's that farmer. He looks just like Lefty Slade. And what famous outlaw is Rose? I don't know. I, she ain't in any of my books, but... He said, what don't make sense to me is, if you are all those people, then why are you all eating Black Jack's crow? With your ability with guns, you could handle them easy. Black Jack? You mean Mr. Smith? So that's Black Jack Britton. I've heard of him. He cut a real wide swath through Missouri. What's a farm kid like you doing riding with the likes of him? So I wasn't supposed to let on. You're not going to tell. You're not going to tell Forrest, are you? Forrest isn't as dumb as you think. I suggest that you reflect real hard on your situation, son. A few bad choices, and a man can lose his soul. Morning. Morning there, young fella. Seen Rose? Well, I haven't seen her. You're Lefty, aren't you? Lefty? Lefty Slade. Excuse me? You were killed in Tombstone. Three shots to the chest and one to the left wrist. My name's Lamb. Yeah, then what's that? I killed men for less than that. I know. Cyrus Boudry and Dodge and Pee Wee Winters when he laughed at your shoe shine. It wasn't over any shoe shine. That's what it said in the blazing gun of Lefty Slade. Now that fool rider never even talked to me. Besides, I got nothing to say to you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Get out of there! Get out of my Get out of my garden!
Eight years. I thought I was beyond it, but... I'm so sorry, Lamb. Me too. Jack Breton! How'd you know? That's not important. You're no longer welcome in refuge. Collect your men and ride out. Sheriff. You know what you need? Need yourself a good old fashioned pistol whoop. Come on, Bob, bring him down. Come on, Black Jack. Clint, no. To hell with this. Blow him away, Black Jack. Nobody will do nothing. This whole town is full of cowards! man jack in the saloon right now All right, drink up, boys. Come sun up, we're gonna ride back into that desert. 
And head south, put your wawa. What about supplies? Take whatever the hell you can carry. Anybody makes a fuss, kill them. Except for that little girlfriend of my nephews, you all just leave her to me. Rose. Sonny. I gotta talk to you. You can come on out. I, I promise I won't look. Is that around your neck? Lefty Slade had something like that on his wrist. I suppose if I saw Forrest with his hat off, he'd have one of those on the back of his head where broken nose Jack McCall shot Wild Bill Hickok. Rose? Is that how you died? Yes. I was the first woman ever to be hanged in the Arizona Territory. I was 19 at the time. You're Betty McCullough. The one who hacked your father to death with a meat cleaver? Everyone forgot to mention how he had his dirty hands all over me since I was 12. Refuge like a place where you get a second chance? Last chance is more like it. Listen, I was, uh, I was thinking that I might stay behind when, uh, when the rest leave. But, um... I like you, Sonny. A lot. But you're gonna have to ride out with them when they leave tomorrow. Well, that's what I came here to tell you. They're gonna tear up the town. I heard them say it. And if y'all don't do something about it, y'all... I might end up dead by the time they leave. Dying's not what bothers us. That was the easy part. And if you figured it out like you say you have, you know it goes way beyond that. Okay, so maybe I can help. I'll talk to Forrest and the rest of them. Maybe I can convince them that they gotta do no, something to get out of this. No, it wouldn't do any good. All right, I'll ask him. I'm not promising anything. When? Tonight at church. I'll be waiting outside. You're a nice young man, Sonny. I wish I'd met you in a different time. I'll be waiting outside the church. I bet it was him who let my name slip. That little bastard. 
Ask Ivy. She was in Sweetwater. She knows what they'll do. But I can't believe you're all just going to stand around and let yourselves get slaughtered. Sheep. You come from a world of options. And we have none. There's only two ways out for us, Sonny. Refuge is where the marginally good are gleaned from the hopelessly wicked. All the temptations that we faced in our previous lives are here. The saloon, the guns, the rotten people. You lift a gun one time, it's over. For all of us. Each of us holds out for ten years, neither inflicting nor attracting harm. We're spared the fate of Brother Lamb. Boris has been here the longest, and he's got less than 24 hours to go before he enters this house justified. If we go up against the Britain gang armed, we're doomed. If we just stand and let him shoot us down, we're doomed. Either way, we're going to hell. Well, then at least stand up to him and take a few of them down with you. We can't, Sonny. The longer we're here, the meeker we get. Even if I was willing, I don't reckon I have it in me anymore. Except for Glenn, none of us do. After what happened to Brother Lamb, I ain't about to. You think some of you used to be my heroes? Where you going, boy? You bash him again. Get him over to my office. He's coming around. Sonny, can you hear me? Rose? Yes, Sonny. Am I dead? Welcome back, kid. I can't tell you how much it pains me that we weren't able to help you. It's okay, I understand. I'm not gonna let him do it to you. Take them all on myself. Not now, Sonny. You have to rest now. Not much else we can do, Doc. Don't you worry.
move on, you bunch of desert rats. In 15 minutes, we start knocking this town over one door at a time. Mexico would ain't <laughs> Fifteen minutes is all I need. You'll have your fun later, Captain. Sheriff! He's gone. Sonny? He's gone. JP was in, he couldn't have gone far. He was there an hour ago when I looked in on him. He's gone. You should be in bed, son. What are you doing? I can't let him do it, Rose. I promised you. <laughs> I'll be damned the kid's on his feet. Don't he look like you want some action, no. Sonny, don't be stupid. Get out while you still got time. I ain't going nowhere. And I don't think you're gonna try and make me. Do you even know how to shoot that thing? Of course I do. They'll be quaking in their boots. I'm going to chop off his ears, hang him on my saddle. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last chance you got, son. Change your mind. Come on. not true. I don't have any choice. I love you. We best be going in. Yeah. Forrest. You're coming. Now you go on. What? The only thing I've been thinking about the last 10 years of myself. I'm going to get through this. Just like I did my whole life. And this green kid comes along. Stands here ready to die for the woman he loves. No thought to himself. Kind of makes a man think. Makes me think you're loco. You've only got five hours left. Yep. Be gone, Doc. You got three bells to get inside. Exactly what it is. Hope you're ready to meet it.
Welcome aboard, Jesse. I was planning on holding out till my brother got here, but the old buzzard just refuses to die. Yep, no matter what else he said about you, Billy, I always knew you had sand. Sorry for what I said. It's okay, son. You were right all along. Who are they? I guess they ain't Mennonites. The way the man wears those guns put your mind to Wild Bill Hickok. He's been dead ten years. Everybody knows it. Let's get it down, boys. <laughs> They ain't budging, Buzz. Let's give him a little pride. Hank, do it. Well, let's get to it. Last invitation to turn around and ride out. Sheriff, your mother's a whore. I have no mother. Still out 16 to your four, Sheriff. The odds are against you. The odds are getting better.
funny. It don't hurt none. How come I'm not dead? Welcome to refuge, son. Wild Bill Hickok. I reckon the odds are against me now. Put that gun belt back on. We got one thing left to settle. That's you and me. Look at me, you son of a bitch. Look at Black Jack Britton. I guess I'm one of you now. I wouldn't count on it. Time to go home, folks. The creator may be tough, but he ain't blind. I'm aboard, sonny. Do I have to? Well, you got nothing left to prove. I'm gonna stay. Refuge is a place of hard rules, sonny. I know what it is. And, uh, I think I'm gonna make it. Well, good luck to you, sir.
Just say it'll be here when you want it. 